Hey guys, welcome to my video one for project one. My name is Yan Ning. I'm a BTEC student. My project name is IRTM Food Stock, which is main intelligent real time online monitoring of food stocks. I'm going to explain my project in four parts in this video. First, I will analyze some social problems involved in my project and how my project can solve those problems. And then I'll give you a nine overview of my project design. Next, I will demonstrate my plan for the next step of my project design. Finally, I will set my expectation of what I wanted to achieve. Let's start with the social problem. The first one, which is the most serious one, the food waste. The project is targeted at hotels, restaurants, and the cafeterias. So let's take a look at the waste of food in those industries. 2.2 million tons of the food is wasted from the commercial and the industrial sectors. Resulting cost no less than two billion dollars annually. There are many reasons for food waste. Income black purchasing list is one of the reasons. For example, the restaurant purchased more gradient than the required. That costs a lot for be waste. Next point is unscientific way of storing food. Unscientific food storage causes the food to be broken. Like the temperature exceed the required range of safety and hygiene standard. For example, food that needs to be kept at a high temperature is being overheat or below 60 degrees. As you can see in the picture, if the food between 5 degrees and 6 degrees, that is quite dangerous temperature range. So now we focus on the next part, the food safety. The food safety is also important. This finger I got from the government document. So basically, the food over 4 hours you must just throw it away. So according to the government data, there are limits on how long cooked the food can be stored. So basically over four hours, the food it can't be used. But normally the traditional way to count the time is manually. Alright, so the last one but not the least is energy waste and the safety hazard. The traditional food stove using alcohol for heating food, which is difficult to control, sometimes overheat or sometimes lower than the minimum required temperature, and either way is on energy waste. Alcohol is flammable and explosive. There are many steps you must follow when you're adding the alcohol to the stove just for avoid accident happen. Okay, so now we're just talking about problem solving. So if we want to reduce the food waste, we need a system in place to help restaurant actually predict food order with the help of digital technology. For example, keep tracking of how many time and how much food is cooked and how long it takes to be consumed. It means more correct data, a better understanding of food order partners and a more control over the kitchen, which ultimately leads to less waste. So if we try to keep the food for longer, 
grabbed his stone to foo safely. After foo being placed in the stove four hours, so the food will be labeled expired on the display screen. This stove will be keep and a constant temperature within a safety and a healthy range. So next I will introduce my project design conception. I will go through how each model works in combination with my design concept map. So first is the power management system. In my project, I will build a power supply system which can provide two power supply methods. When AC power is provided from the outside, the power supply system will supply the electricity directly to each model of the device. And it will charge the internal rechargeable battery when the external power supply is no longer supplied. The device will maintain the most basic work through the building power system, such as reading three data, temperature, water level, weight, and can output the information to the LCD and the external wireless monitoring device. The project will not study how the model works. The sensor model, the sensor will be distributed over multiple places of the device. And the project drawing will be shown in the next video. Those sensors will be used to collect temperature, what level and weight information. And transmit the data to the microcontroller. And a microcontroller is the system control model. Analyze the processed input information from the other models and output instruction to another models. Retrieve information from the sensor power management system and then it's going to analyze those information and the process with the programming. If the temperature is not within the seat range, the instruction will given to the radiator or heaters model. And also there is another instruction is given to the power management system to supply the heater and the radiator. And there is a real-time output information sent to the device LCD as well as the wireless the monitoring of the display screen. The radiator and heater model start work when it receives instruction from the microcontroller. But this project will not study how they work further. Next one is the Raspberry Pi 3. If the data need to be output to a wireless device, I need the Raspberry Pi 3 to do it. Raspberry Pi 3 has the wireless transmission capability. In this project, I will use the Bluetooth function to connect to the monitor outside of the device. Contains putting information on a screen or to the user over the internet. For the next step, First, I will draw a device drawing of the design. The selected installation location of the sensor. Second, I will look in for or buy electronic components. So, using the electronic components and the microcontroller to build a simulation device. Is the programming. The microcontroller will read information from the sensor and the data can be calculated through the programming. Then the programming will decide if it needs to issue instruction or not. 
the next video, you can see the sample drawn with the sensor location indicate. And also, I hope the sensor can transmit the correct temperature or level and away information to the microcontroller. And I will display the data on the LCD. Thanks for watching my video.